Hockey 605. We're here with Andy Carroll of Northfield, Minnesota at the Sioux Falls Junior Stampede AAA tryouts. Did you have a good time, Andy? Yeah, I did. Had a, had a blast. Now, you guys are uh, waiting for your, your exit interviews, um, and it's got to be a little bit pins and needles for you, isn't it? Yeah, you know, I mean, I think it's one of those things where, you know, you work hard all week, and, you know, it's just, you're, you're excited to hear, you know, how you did and get some feedback from the coaches and, and you know, you know, learn things where you got to work hard in the off season. Yeah. Now, what position do you play, Andy? I play defense. Um, and, of course, any coach is, is always looking for good defensemen, aren't yeah. they? Yep. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I mean, defense is a crucial part of the game, and kind of pride myself in jumping up on the play and kind of playing both ends of the ice. So. Now, in Minnesota, you guys are fortunate to have sanctioned high school yep. hockey. Um, who do you play for? I play for Northfield, Minnesota. And so that's your high school? school? Yep, the high school team. And uh, what year in school are you? Uh, I'm a senior this year. A senior this year, yep. so... Uh, how's your season go this last year? Uh, you know, it was uh, it was a really good season. We uh, we were top of the conference, middle, or, you know, top top third of the conference all year, and uh, came to the playoff time and won a big game in the semis, and then went on to uh, lose two one in the section finals to go to state to uh, a sixth or seventh ranked new Prague team in the state. So it, it was a good year. Yeah, it sounds like a good year. It, um, anytime you get that far in Minnesota hockey, you know you've done well, right? Yep. So how long have you been playing hockey? Uh, about. 13 years, so since I was five. Yeah, we, we often say that in Minnesota you're born with skates on your feet. Is okay. that about true? Hey, definitely. I mean, growing up, Dad was a coach down at Mankato, started the women's program, and uh, okay. every Monday I'd skate with my grandpa over in Woodbury, and, you know, I, I, I kind of look up to him as, you know, two father figures that really helped me develop my stride and my love for hockey. It's really important to have somebody there that, that was kind of your mentor and, and uh, pushing you to, to exceed, excel, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. I mean, that's a, that's a big thing, especially in hockey, how d demanding it is, you know, physically and mentally nowadays. To, to play at a high level, you have to play, you know, full years or full, like, full year round. So to do so, I mean, with those two uh, father figures to look up to, it was, it was phenomenal. Yeah, it sounds like it. So now, wh what's your favorite part about playing the game? You know, I, I think the best part of the game is, I mean, it's a great game overall, but I think I really enjoy just, you know, being out there on the ice. You know, a lot of guys like the off-ice game, and, and I could spend four or five hours on the ice playing. I mean, I just love it, you know, playing out there, getting a lot of ice time, and uh, jumping up in the plays, and just having a blast. Well, it sounds it sounds like you guys had a good good weekend. Yeah. Good investment of your time, right? Yep, definitely. Great weekend. All right. Well, we want to wish you the best of the luck in that exit interview, and hopefully we'll see you back here All again right. for, for final sessions. Yeah, thanks. Sounds good. Thank you very much. Thank you.